Hi everyone, I'm Danny, and today we are gonna haul some books. So if you clicked on this video or you've seen any of my previous ones, you're probably a fellow special edition collector or just a fellow book lover. And if you are, you've come to the right place because I love to collect special editions and I love to read, especially romance. So I have quite a few books to share, but they're gonna be predominantly fantasy romance. I do also have contemporary romance. I have dark romance. I even have historical romance. I'll show you all the details of these beautiful editions. So let's jump right in. I wanna kick it off with a special edition of Swordcatcher. So I do actually own two of these books. So right behind me, you can see two of them there. And I'm planning to kind of build up this stack because I know Cassandra Clare is such a beloved author and I want to start collecting her editions. I'm most excited for this series because it is her adult debut. So very excited to pick this one up. This special edition is done by Fairy Loot and they did do a custom dust jacket. Under the dust jacket, we have beautiful gold foiling, but for sure the showstopper of this edition is these edges. So it's a sprayed edge and it looks best displayed, I think on its side because you have a cityscape there. We've got different end pages in the front as well as in the back. I did also get the Waterstone special edition of this book and the cover is pretty similar to the normal UK cover but the gold is what's unique, I believe. So it's a color variant. It also has black sprayed edges. I originally was not gonna get this edition, but when I saw the hardcover case, that's what sold me. I think that this hardcover case is probably my favorite foiling out of any of the editions, especially that spine. And for the end pages, we get a map of this world. Next, I wanna talk about the Illumicrate special edition of Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. And this edition I actually did not get because it came out before I was into collecting special editions, but I did pick it up on resale. I've heard amazing things about this series, so just wanna get caught up. It is signed by Jay Kristoff on the end pages, and it did also come with an art print as well as an author letter on the other side. Next up, I did get the first print run of Iron Flame. So we have the typical cover here, but the first print run does have those black sprayed edges, which I'm sure you all know about by now. But the most exciting thing about this edition, in my opinion, was that it was signed by Rebecca Yaros and personalized to me because I did get the amazing opportunity to meet her when she did a signing tour. I loved this book so much and it was so highly anticipated for me. So I'm so glad that I liked it as much as I did. And I did vlog my reading experience. I will link that above so you can check that out. And I also vlogged the signing where I met Rebecca. And the end pages for this edition is a map of this world because I loved this book so much. I'm so glad that I pre-ordered the Waterstone special edition. So the cover for this one is the typical UK cover. It does have a little bit less contrast than the US edition that I just showed, but the special part is that it does have a sprayed edge. And the UK end pages are slightly different with a photo of, it looks like Zayd in there, as well as Violet. I did also get the holiday edition of Fourth Wing, of course, so it's got this red cover and it's got plain black sprayed edges. So the first printing of Fourth Wing did have the dragons on the edge, but I'm really glad to have this edition because it does have bonus content. So it has a scene from Zayden's POV and it was actually a really good scene. I read that bonus chapter before I started reading Iron Flame and it got me intrigued and all invested in Zayden and Violet's romance all over again. And the end pages on this one is a snowy scene with the dragons and some ripped pages. Next, I wanna talk about one of the very few special editions that I have from Subterranean Press. And this is Nona the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. Muir? I think I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but the cover for this book is absolutely stunning. I will say, even though I own just a couple special editions from Subterranean Press, they do an immaculate job. They don't do sprayed edges, 
but the covers that they do and just the binding feels really high quality on these books. This is the third book in the series. So I was planning on getting the first two on resale, which is why I picked this third one up. But honestly, they are so expensive to get subterranean press special editions on resale that I'm not even sure that I'm gonna be able to complete the series. I'm not sure if I'll keep this one or if I'll sell it because I do really want a complete set. So that is something that is a little bit tough about Subterranean Press, but if you can get your hands on them, they are amazing quality. The end pages on these editions are usually really cool. Not a ton of artwork, it's just like one or two pictures, but it is done really, really well. Next up is one special edition that I was lucky enough to get on resale and for a fairly decent price given all the hype around this series right now. This is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross and this is the Owl Crate edition. We get a quote from the book foiled in silver on the hardcover. It's a pretty simplistic design and that design is also pretty simple on the end pages. Looks like a harp there and some artwork on the reverse dust jacket too. Next we have Anatomy and Immortality by Dana Schwartz and these special editions were done by the bookish box. The dust jackets are translucent so we get some character artwork on that translucent dust jacket and then underneath it we get the characters in skeletons on the front and on the back we've got a heart and a brain. I'll tell you what bookish box definitely got me with the song on their Instagram story. If you haven't heard it you should go look it up. It was honestly really good and really catchy. Had never heard anything about this series and that song got me and the theme with the characters as well as their skeleton forms does carry on to the end pages too. This is a YA series that I hear is really good for spooky season because the main female character wants to be a physician. I think this is set sometime in the early or mid 1900s, but um, it's not as progressive back then and they're not training females to be physicians. So she's digging up cadavers to try and get some practice. So a little bit spooky in that sense, but it's supposed to have a little bit of a romance subplot too. Next up, I have A Curse for True Love by Stephanie Garber. And you're probably wondering why this is included in a special edition haul, but but I actually got this copy with a special edition dust jacket. I don't have extra copies to put these dust jackets on yet, but these dust jackets are done by Fake Rate. They did do a dust jacket for every single one of these books in the trilogy, and I'm just obsessed with the art style. I think they turned out so beautiful. Now let's talk about a special edition by Midnight Whispers, and that is Trial of the Sun Queen by Nisha J. Tooley. And I think that this one, it turned out really, really pretty. My favorite part is probably the foiling and the edges go really nicely with that cover design. The end pages have some beautiful character artwork as well as a picture of, I assume our heroine on the next page and a map on the back end pages. I did also receive the Miss King duology by Midnight Whispers as well. And these are translucent dust jackets. They aren't necessarily the plasticky material that I felt on other ones. These ones are a little bit more flexible, but they do have the rose gold foiling on them and they have beautiful edges that extend to the top and bottom too. Underneath that foiled translucent dust jacket, we have some really cool character artwork that's on the hardcover cases for these editions. We've got a castle on the end pages and more character artwork on that second page. Looks like another castle on the back end pages in a darker atmosphere. And then a castle burning on the next end pages and a waterfall there in the back. They did come with two really high quality art prints and a book plate. Next up, we have a fairy loot special edition for the Scarlet Veil by Shelby Mahurin, I think it's pronounced. But what sold me on this book was hearing that instead of the one bed trope, it's one coffin. So this is a vampire romance. This is technically YA. And I think this is the same author that wrote the Serpent and Dove series, if I remember correctly. And I think this one is actually set in the same world as that series 
but I've heard great things about it on all the reviews I've seen so far. Okay, next up, I got a collector's edition of Throne of Glass. This collector's edition has a really nice gold foiling on this hard case. And this was actually a birthday present that I got from my mother-in-law. The first one showed up damage. So even though my birthday was in October, I sent it back and I got a replacement and this one looks perfect. So I really do like having multiple editions of books. So I'm really, really glad that I got this collector's edition. Next up, we have two TJ Klune special editions done by Illumicrate. And that is Under the Whispering Door and House in the Cerulean Sea. And these covers, I believe, are the same as the normal UK covers, but they do have some really, really cool sprayed edges, probably my favorite part of these books. And they do have a unique cover under the dust jackets. Next up, we have a special edition of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue done by, I believe it's Aliessa's World. And it was like through her Etsy shop. You can look her up on Instagram, but she did do this beautiful design with a unique cover as well as sprayed edges. This one was from the UK, so shipping was kind of a lot, but I do feel so lucky that a lot of the US special editions, I don't have to pay crazy shipping fees for. So this one was just too pretty to pass up though. I absolutely loved the design. And then those end pages are really pretty as well. Next we have Fragile Threads of Power by V.E. Schwab. And this is a special edition and that was done by Alcrate. And what I really like about it is that it looks really unique compared to other V.E. Schwab books or special editions. One thing that she does is keeps her designs very consistent, which I like. I like that that's her brand, but this one feels very different from anything else that's been done. So I had to pick this one up. It just was so different than the typical red and black or red and white type of color scheme that we typically see for V.E. Schwab books. So I was really excited that Alcrate did this one. I do think that this is the same world as A Darker Shade of Magic. And they did provide a reverse dust jacket for this one too. Next we have a Fairyloot duology and that is The Wrath and the Dawn as well as The Rose and the Dagger. And that's by Renee Andia, I think that's how you say it but I really, really was drawn to the neutral covers on these editions. The designs on the cover are pretty simple, but really, really beautiful, especially that moon and the rose. And I don't know why, but those edges are giving me like Beauty and the Beast for some reason. It's probably just the rose with those color hues, but beautiful nonetheless. The series is a fantasy romance, and I believe it is YA. And the end pages are the same in the front and the back on these ones. Next, we have these beautiful beautiful special editions that were done by the bookish box. This is an heir comes to rise, a queen comes to power and a throne from the ashes. And these books are by Chloe C. Penuranda. So I think that's the same author that did The Stars Are Dying, which is a book that I've seen blowing up on Bookstagram quite a bit lately. I just really, really like the color scheme and how it came together on these covers. They have beautiful gold foiling and I think just ultimately look really cohesive as a series. There's artwork on the front of each cover and then on the back, it does have a quote. We have different color hard covers for each of these, but with really, really intricate gold foiling, I love the designs that they chose to foil on these ones. And they definitely saved the best for last with this bird, maybe even a phoenix, I think it might be foiled on this last hard cover. And yes, definitely some phoenixes, I think on the end pages too. We've got some birds on these end pages in the second one. I just love the way all these colors are so cohesive. Now I do want to go ahead and move into some contemporary romances and we're going to start off with Twisted Love by Anna Huang. This was actually my only Black Friday purchase this year and this was a hardcover signed edition that came out 
just for Black Friday from Barnes & Noble. There was one other online retailer. I can't remember which seller it was, but there was one online bookstore that did have these hardcovers available online, but sold out super quick and I couldn't get my hands on them. So I did have to make a trip into Barnes & Noble, but I'm really glad that I did get this edition because it is the same cover that's on the paperbacks, but they don't typically have a hardcover version. So I'm really glad that I was able to snag this in hardcover and that it's signed by Anna. Next up, I have Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. And I believe that this is quite an emotional read. I know it's gained quite a bit of popularity over the years, but the author did come out with this special edition with a new cover and these orange sprayed edges. It has the most beautiful foiling on the hardcover underneath that dust jacket. And on the back, we get some flower petals that are foiled. What's so fun about this edition is that it does have annotations from the author in the page margins. And I do believe that this one is available currently on like Amazon and all major booksellers. I do also have some historical romances to share and it is a big set from Illumicrate. Of course, it's none other than the Bridgerton set. It lines up across the spines to look like the Bridgerton house. And it does come with sprayed edges on each of the books in a beautiful array of colors. Since this is quite a large set of special editions to buy at once, they did only do hard cases, so no dust jackets, but that does make it a lot more affordable. Each of the hard covers is a different color and it does match those beautiful sprayed edges. This set was actually reprinted by Illumicrate, so this is the second print run. And because of that, these editions are actually not signed. I think the first print run was signed. Nonetheless, I am just so glad that I was able to get these in a reprint and didn't have to pick them up on resale because they were going for crazy prices on resale. I've actually never read a historical romance, but I feel like this series by Julia Quinn is gonna be the perfect series to start out with because I did actually watch the series on Netflix so I'm invested in the characters and excited to give it a try. Each of these hardcovers does have beautiful designs that are foiled on them. And another example for the last book, On the Way to the Wedding, it has a really pretty dove foiled on each side. Next, let's move on to a couple dark romances. And first up, I have God of Wrath by Rena Kent. This is the third series or the third book in her series, I believe. Last month I did in my last haul show God of Pain and these are the editions that are done by Bookish Buys or Bookish Baddies. All of the covers in this series are pretty cohesive. So all of them have the paint drips and of course the masks foiled in different colors. For end pages, they're the same in the front and in the back, and we've got the main characters in some sort of forest setting. There is a reverse dust jacket for this one too. And lastly, it did come with this art print as well. Next, we have a bookish box special edition set, and this is the Kingmaker series by Sophie Lark. I think this is a spinoff series of the kids from a mafia romance that she wrote. It supposedly is set in a school where these kids are preparing for life in the mafia world. I've heard that it is technically dark romance, but kind of on the border. So I've heard that it's a really good one to kind of get your feet wet and see if you like dark romance, if you haven't read the genre before. All of these dust jackets are gray with different color foiling and they are really nice. But what I love the most is underneath these jackets. Underneath the dust jacket, all of the books have a faux leather hardcover. The hardcovers are so beautiful. I love the designs and you're just never gonna get through a haul without me saying that I love classic looking special edition books and these books definitely fit that bill. All of the hardcovers are pretty similar and then they do have end pages that have this design in a different color that matches those sprayed edges. And the reverse dust jackets are really cool too. So this one is the air. We've got the rebel, the bully, which I hear is by far the best one in this series. Here we have the spy. And then lastly, the savage. The two other dark romance special editions that I have to share with you are both done by Mystic Box. And these are both part of the Valenshek Legacy series. So these books are by Tate James, if you couldn't tell from the foiled signature there on the back. 
These edges have what looks to be floral as well as some glass shards. That does carry on to the end pages and these editions are also signed by Tate James. The other thing that's really nice about Mystic Box Special Editions is that they do custom internal formatting. So you can see here in the chapter header, you do get a unique formatting. So that does conclude my haul for today. I wanna to thank you so much for watching. It really does mean the most to me that you guys are around and that I can share my love for reading and special edition collecting with you all. Let me know what your favorite special edition was or even just your favorite special edition or book that you picked up or read in the last couple months. I'm always looking for new books to read, so I look forward to hearing from you, but that's all for today and I'll see you in the next chapter.